Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn the most common reaction of aromatic compounds that are electrophilic aromatic substitution. The most typical ones are halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, alkylation and acylation, also called Fiddlecraft reaction. Without any further ado, let's dive into it. First thing that we are going to see, we are going to see the general mechanism of electrophilic substitution. As you can see here, this double bond is going to attract the electrophile. Electrophile is going to be placed here, and the hydrogen is going to remain here, and a cation is going to be formed here. Here you have also the resonance structures that we are going to see below. Now, a base is going to take the hydrogen, and this bonding pair here is going to be converted to the double bond. And the final product is going to be an electrophilic substitution, okay? Let's move now to a real example. Bromine, uh, in order to go through electrophilic substitution, you need to make it a better electrophile. In order to do that, we treat bromine or halogens with a catalyst. For bromine is iron bromine, and bromine becomes more electrophilic. Now the reaction is the same as the mechanism as I explained above. Bromine is going to be connected here, and the hydrogen remains here and the carbocation formation here. Now, this double bond can make resonance structure by moving here, and uh, you have, uh, this remains the same, you have the carbocation that moves here. Next step is going to be this double bond here, can move here, and uh, the carbocation moves there. Now again, the base, uh, the one that remain, the one that remains is going to remove this hydrogen and this bonding pair is going to serve after as a double bond. And the final product is going to be the halogenation of an aromantic ring. Plus the remaining product, the catalyst, Normally, as it gets into the reaction, the same form ends after the reaction. Let's move now to aromatic halogenation. A benzene you react with chlorine, uh, in this case, the catalyst is iron chloride, is going to give chlorinated aromatic compound. Okay? Now, if you want to try with iodine, here iodine needs uh, an oxidizing agent such as copper chloride. And again, you are going to have the formation compound that of an aromatic compound that contains iodine. Okay, for fluorine, for fluorine, you need to use this proprietary reagent that is F theta BF four, uh, not directly fluorine, as with the other halogens because it's too reactive. Now, the final product here is going to be the same: fluorination of the aromatic ring. Let's move now to aromatic nitration. In order to do aromatic nitration to, our benzene, to aromatic rings, you need a mixture of nitric acid with sulfuric acid. Nitric acid, in the presence of sulfuric acid, is going to take the H plus from the sulfuric acid, first H plus, lower the hydrogen, and uh, is going to form this structure here that this bond is going to break and to form a molecule of water. Okay, here you have it. And what remains, remains also a neutronium ion that is going to serve as an electrophile to make possible nitration of an aromatic ring. So this neutronium ion is written here, so the double bond again is going to attract to the nitrogen. This bond or the other above is going to move to the oxygen because we need to respect the octet rule. And uh, what you're going to have as, a, as an intermediate is going to be oxygen negative here and the uh, positive charge to the next carbon near the electrophile. What is going to happen now? Now water, this water that was here, is going to serve as a base to remove, sorry, here we have another hydrogen. Uh, it's going to remove the hydrogen and this, double bond, this bonding pair with hydrogen is going to move to form the double bond. And at the end, you are going to have 
nitration of the aromatic ring, of the benzene ring in this case. So nitrobenzene. This compound has the name nitrobenzene, as we learned from the previous video. In a shorter way, just read like this, and you're going to have directly the nitration, okay? Depends how the exercise or the professor want that to write to you. Okay, a special reaction with nitrobenzenes is that if you react with iron in an ACD condition, after that treat with a base, you're going to have the formation of NH2. This compound was called aniline, okay? Aminobenzene. That uh, this reaction helps a lot uh, and it's industrially used to produce aniline that is used after as a reactant for another reaction during the synthesis. Let's move now to the aromatic sulfonation. Now, here, in order, in order to do sulfonation, you need to mix the uh, sulfur trioxide with sulfuric acid. This is the Lewis structure of that. Here, what is going to happen? Sulfur, one pair of the oxygen is going to take one hydrogen from the acid and is going to have the formation of this electrophile. Okay, what is going to happen here? This double bond is going to attack this electrophile and this bond is going to move here. Let's place it here now with the hydrogen. Let's place it here now with the hydrogen because here is hydrogen. Okay, now what's going to happen? The remaining is going to abstract with hydrogen and this is going to move here to form again the double bond. And the final product is going to be SO3H. So in a shorter way, it's going to be like this. So sulfonation of an aromatic ring. Okay, let's move now to another important group that again happens according to an electrophilic substitution mechanism. But in this case, you're going to have alkylation of an aromatic ring. This kind of reaction are also called Fiddlecraft reactions. What happens if you take an halogen, treat that with aluminium chloride, uh, that is a catalyst, is going to form, uh, is going to remove the, the chlorine here to form an electrophile, a carbocation, secondary carbocation in this case, and uh, uh, this turns as a base, okay? Now, the mechanism is the same. It's going to attack the carbon and this is going to be connected here. Okay, one, two, three and another hydrogen, okay? And this is going to be here, it's going to remove this hydrogen here and it's going to form here. So the final product is going to be this, okay? Now, with uh, arylic uh, halides, electrophilic substitution, does aromatic substitution does not work. With vinylic halides, electrophilic substitution does not work, okay? Now, another thing to say, if you are going to have a substituted ring, let's assume Z, and this Z contains electron withdrawing groups, it is not going to happen the Fiddlecraft reaction, okay? Electron withdrawing groups are those ones that have higher electronegativity compared to the carbon, but also if they contain in their group electronegative uh, compounds that have higher electronegativity compared to the carbon, they are not going to go through Fiddlecraft reaction. Fiddlecraft articulation on paper looks nice, but in the real world laboratory work, is, it has a lot of limitation. If you have a primary alkyl halide, it's going to have rearrangement and it's going to yield more than one product. This is the first thing that happened. Okay, let's move now to aromatic acylation. Scientists found a way that you can do, instead of alkylation, acylation, and you are going to save the chain. You're not going to have any rearrangement. That was a good thing. Now, what they did, uh, acylation, acyl, acyl group is this group treated with, again, the same catalyst, aluminium tetrachloride, aluminium trichloride as a catalyst, and you're going to have this electrophile, and that has two forms of resonance structure, but this is more stable. Now, what is going to happen again here, this is going to attack the carbon, and the intermediate step is going to be... Now, uh, again, 
is going to remove this hydrogen, this is going to move here, and you're going to have. For example, let's take this example here. This is a long chain, and the final product is going to be like this. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Peace.